Me, Kimmy, and the kids drove down here from Virginia to Panama City Beach, Florida. Uh, we're at Kimmy's dad's house, and it's beautiful out here. Like, beautiful. I've never seen beaches in the USA like this. The water is white. The water is white. The water is blue. The sand is white. And uh, we just got here probably, I don't know, probably about two hours ago. And uh, the kids, the, the looks on their faces, man, it means everything to me. But anyway, quick update. This stuff is now available on BricksFitness.com. It is now available. I worked out a deal. You guys are free to go to BricksFitness.com right now and order your Bricks Fitness small logo t-shirt. And this is the snapback. They are on BricksFitness.com right now, and there's probably a few other items up there, a few new items that you can purchase right now. I thank you guys for your patience. I thank you guys for your support. So this video, I've been on this fitness mission now for about five years, starting 2013, almost five years. And uh, every once in a while, I have these like life-changing, perspective-shifting epiphanies that just make it easier for me to make this a lifestyle. So gradually over the last five years, you know, I, I've been gaining these perspective shifts every so often. So one happened for me recently, and I just wanted to share this with you guys because it took me five years of trial and error to learn this stuff, and I'm trying to give you guys the shortcut. So if you're ready to receive this information, it will change your life, trust me. I know for me, exercise used to be such a task. It was something that I didn't look forward to, it was something that I looked at as a chore. It was something that I put a lot of pressure on myself, unnecessary pressure on myself when it came to exercise when I shouldn't. I used to complicate it and in turn that made it harder for me to make it a lifestyle in the beginning. I wanna give you fresh perspective on exercise. Exercise does not have to be boring. Exercise does not have to be long. Exercise does not have to be a chore. Exercise does not have to be done at the gym. Exercise is not for weight loss. Weight loss happens as a result of exercise in a caloric deficit, but exercise is not for weight loss. Make that switch, right? A lot of us, we only exercise because we wanna lose weight, and that's not the real reason to exercise. And if you wanna lose weight and keep it off, you have to make exercise a part of your lifestyle just like brushing your teeth is. But if you continue to think about exercise like a chore, something that you really don't wanna do, something that you have to do perfectly, something you have to do at the gym, something you have to do, you know, you have to have a sweaty shirt, or it has to be an hour and a half long. Like, no, exercise doesn't have to be those things. Like, the quicker you change your perspective on exercise, the quicker you, you, you start looking at exercise for what it really is, the faster and the easier it's gonna be for you to make it a lifestyle. Right? So let me explain to you what exercise is for me, right? And it's going to be different for every single person, but this is a perspective that helps me stick to it, right? So I used to think I, I, used to think I had to go to the, to the gym and lift weights, and I had to make sure I worked out for an hour or an hour and a half in order for it to, to mean something. No. Exercise can be you simply taking your kids out to the beach, and that's what I just did, that's why I'm using that example, and running around. That's exercise. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to have a sweaty shirt. Like, you guys know my philosophy, it is consistency over intensity. Consistency over intensity. So every day, you're not gonna get to the gym and do deadlifts and bench press and bicep curls. You're not gonna do that every day. You're not gonna feel like going to the gym every day and doing 45 minutes of cardio or even 30 minutes of cardio. You're not gonna feel like doing that every day. You don't have to do that. When your idea of exercise is having to do those things every single, every single time you wanna exercise, that's not going to serve you as far as uh, aligning, with your, uh, aligning with your goals of long-term success with, with fitness and long-term uh, maintenance of your weight once you actually lose the weight, right? So exercise for me is a chance for me to, to take a break from the hustle and bustle of life. But exercise for me is an investment into, into my temple, my body. It's, a, it's an investment into my health. It's an investment into my kids. Because the healthier I am, the better a dad I can be. 
the better a husband I can be. It's an investment. And my thing is, my goal is consistency. Like, if when people ask me my fitness goals, my fitness goal is to be 80 years old, active, healthy. Like, I want to be that guy in the gym or running around in the park with the little neon shorts and the headband, making everybody mad. I got all my flappy skin showing and everyone's getting pissed. That's going to be me. That's my fitness goals. So, in order for me to achieve that 80 years old and active and healthy, that's gonna take me finding a medium speed, which means every single day I'm not gonna be pounding the pavement in the gym. But I do have to be consistent. I have to work out consistently four to six times a week. That's for me, according to my goals. And maybe out of those five days of the week, I may go to the gym twice or three times. And two of those days, I may go for 15 minute run if that's what I was able to do because this is a I'm playing a long-term game here this is not about reaching a fitness goal in three months that's not what this is about for me and I think if your goal is long-term success and health and mental wellness and just overall wellness then I think you should take this approach you should adopt this perspective because we complicate it it's so hard to stick to a program if you're asking so much of yourself. If your idea of exercise is going to the gym and like beating up on weights for an hour and a half, you're not gonna be able to do that every day. When your perspective on exercise is something that is, is this hour and a half or hour of intense weightlifting and intense cardio, what, what you're doing is you're setting yourself up not to be consistent. Because what you're gonna do is, all right, so when you're not feeling like it, let's say a day you're not feeling like going to the gym, but you know you can squeeze out 15 minutes of basketball or 20 minutes of basketball, but you won't do that because in your head, you're like, no, that's not exercise, or no, that's not gonna help me, but it will, it will. And once you realize that the small, even the small sessions count, it'll change your perspective. So on the days you're just not feeling like it, you'll still get to the gym. You won't talk yourself out of it because you know it's still gonna count towards your goals at the, at the end of the day. So just remember that, like don't overcomplicate it. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. Exercise is anything that gets your heart rate up or gets your body moving. It's exercise, whether it's five minutes or it's 50 minutes, it counts. So even if you don't feel like doing an hour and a half or you don't do, feel like doing a full workout, that's fine. Still go to the gym, do what you can, and then go home. It's easy. That's it. It don't have to be all the shenanigans. It don't have to be you slamming weights around. It doesn't have to be that. It's simple. Let's simplify it. Come on, y'all. I want you guys to adopt this perspective because I want you guys to be 80 years old with me running on the beach, making people mad because we got little shorts on. That's the goal, all right? I'm gonna put this camera away because I promised my kids that I was gonna focus on them. Again, this stuff is available right now, bricksfitness.com. Please hit the like button right now if you haven't. I really appreciate that. It helps the channel grow, guys, thank you. And as always, I'm just trying to share the wellness. So get well and get money.